Hello again, YouTubers, Ultimate SpongeBob 101, back here again on the SpongeBob channel. Today we have part 24 of our SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated playthrough video series. Uh, we completed the first area of the Kelp Forest, that being the Kelp Forest, uh, in the previous video, so make sure to check it out if you have yet to do so. Uh, so now we are here in the Kelp Swamp. We did get the uh, quest in the previous video so without further ado let's uh, proceed right to it so basically what we need to do is we need to um, get these stone tiki's onto these um, three well platforms or some I mean well whatever they're called okay so um, and basically we need to transport these tiki's from um, some uh -oh, parts of the coast so first, let's get rid of this guy, and then, um, How many of these do I have to carry? Wait a minute, do we even need to go there? Okay, That's so we destroyed that sleepy time Ooh, again, robot, again. um, right there, and then, go here. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits well, quite um, right. Yeah, so gotta make sure the landing angle is correct. Okay, and then over here, we do have a freezy fruit. So first, let's see. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the freezy fruit is for right now, but um, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go up here if I can even reach there. There we go. Okay, so. Activate this and then. Oh, we did find a camper though, so that's four out of six. That's pretty nice. That's much this better. camper somehow find, found his way into like middle of nowhere. Um, but okay, so we got four out of six campers right now. And then over here, um, let's see. We just need to find the two remaining tiki's and then bring them back to. Uh, where we started and actually there is another one right here so here the teleport box is open we just this. As a rock. okay so we respawned over here again so the this little set of bouncy things are actually really annoying because the angle that you have to bounce at is pretty huge so next up jump here. Okay, next up. Jump over here. So yeah, as you can see, the gaps between each bouncy platform are very huge. You can know, stand over here, then jump here. Okay, and then next one. Next one. And finally, we are here. Okay, let's get rid of this guy, and then I'm gonna use this. To destroy that sleepy time robot over here, 2600 shiny objects. We need to, you know, do that to open the gate. Oh, okay, so that gives us access to a bungee jump, I assume, for a sock. But, and then over here, we do have our fifth camper. Awesome. Is the whistle? Okay, so let's hit over there now. Pretty sparkly thing. Okay, so over here. Okay, so we got rid of our over there. Now let's head over onto this platform. Head over here. Destroy the duplicated tron, and then sure we have our stone key over around. here. So let's put it over there. Ouch. Okay, and then um, 
And the second one, which is of course the first one we saw, was over here. And now I actually want to test how, like, what angle do we have to go at in order to, like, uh, you know, return to the main platform. So we actually do have to jump, which is problematic because you can't jump while on the while on the um, while carrying something. So one thing I did notice is if you know if you note over here, there is actually a um, button that we can press. So let's try that. Okay, so this is gonna activate that little golden spatula that we wanna go get. Um, and we are counting down the seconds right now. So hopefully we do get it and then, you know, we'll be able to say, oh yeah, we got that spatula. Okay, it's right here, awesome. 59 golden spatulas, awesome. Okay, so now that that is done, we actually have to get back to where we began, so... Let's just quickly, well, scoot over there. Or actually, no, we don't even have to go all the way there, do we? And we are gonna get destroyed because of this annoying cutscene. Yeah, so this is a bug that they really need to fix. Once you actually get onto this little, well, um, trampoline leaf, the cutscene will play regardless of whether you want it or not, which is very annoying. Let's just quickly check. So we've got 59 spatulas. Um, that is in fact correct. As you can see, down in the swamp is complete. And yeah, okay. Now let's hit down here. You know, I'm actually quite curious, what happens if we just try to use Spongebob to use his cruise bubble um, on the button near the G-Love robot? Let's try that actually. And so we're here with Spongebob now, the stone tiki's are still here of course. Um, and the button that we are talking about is actually over there I think. Okay, in that direction, so... Say hello to my little uh, bubble friend! Okay, it was really close, but, you know, close enough. I don't think we even need to... Yeah, the Switch controls are really crappy. Um, but there we go, okay, so that happens. And then, you'll see this thing just elevate up. Which means now we can change back over to Patrick. And then um, we'll get in this teleport box over here. So this stone tiki will allow us to bounce up here. Awesome, finally. Okay, and then we just throw this here. And those things just pop up. So let's talk to Mr. Krabs real quick. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. All right, awesome. So we do have the um, we do have the golden spatula to get to. 
So that's real nice. Right over here. And 60 golden spatulas. Finally, um, I actually took a whole lot of tries to get this right. And finally, we do have it. Now, let's just quickly destroy this Tartar bot. There is a sock that I want to get to that uh, you may, I, I did point out earlier in the video. If I can actually get rid of this guy. Yeah, so over here, um, it seems like there's just Tiki's over there. So no socks for that one. But if we go over here... And, um, all right, so now here we are back at the uh, stone pedestals. Let's just get into this teleport box. We just need to get one more um, of Patrick's socks, and then we can end off this part in the kelp swamp. So, it actually is um, something we saw earlier. So now, right. first, so I gotta shiny. focus on these jumps because these jumps are absolutely nuts. Like, there's the, the gaps are huge. Okay, so over here. So over here, this thing actually allows us to bounce all the way up. Which is okay. Uh, that was a real close one. Wait a minute. Let's try that again. Okay. And apparently not. So yeah, there you go. So now we are on this platform over here. What we want to do is go over up there. As you can see, there is a sock there. So, I'm just gonna try to inch slowly. Oh, wait a minute, I don't think you can actually get up there just like that. Although, we can get over here. So, up here, then here. Well, um, I did finally manage to get up here as you can see this is the button that I used Spongebob to cruise bubble uh, against earlier and um, all we need to do now is just jump on this and as you can see there's the sock right there. It's kind of hypnotic. Oh, so, again, again. that brings us so up to 61 of these do Patrick's I have to socks. Carry? Now I'm actually gonna just Give you guys a quick look here so we now have four out of seven of the socks as well as three spatulas um i'm gonna just transport ourselves over back to mr krabs and i'll end off the video make sure you just subscribe like favorite comment etc keep right here on ultimate spongebob 101 so in the next video we will be um taking on the kelp caves which is uh, actually in that direction so here and then cross this little wooden plank bridge and then we do have the gantry to Cal Caves. So yeah, that is what we will be going through in part 25. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!